All right, we are in lesson seven, mini project, your personal style. First thing we're gonna do is go through the review. All right, they want you to add a rule set for the heading. So here's the H1, elephants, we'll go to the style, and all we're gonna do is copy this, right? Why is that not working? Okay, so I'm going to hit enter, and then I'm going to do my H1. H1, get that curly going, and we'll say color. So I'm going to do color. brown and now we have our elephants is brown and I'll hit that semicolon hit enter and we'll do font family fantasy semicolon close it off with that curly bracket and we're done with this one Okay, number two, change the text color. All right, style. Okay, here's the paragraph. It's just regular black, so we'll change the text. So we'll do P for paragraph, bracket, color and we'll change it to blue add that semicolon just to make clean code hit enter and then close it off okay there's the paragraphs now the heading they want another color so we're going to hit enter make the h1 curly bracket color how about a nice beige no you can't even see beige that's horrible how about green there we go semicolon close it off and that is good align the text Okay, figure out which tag holds the author's names, add a rule set to move it to the right side of the screen. So we can click on Inspector, and then I go right to Helen Keller, so here it is, right, the H3. So I go to Style. Alright, they want you to align the quotes which is an H3 in here. So we're just gonna add the uh, alignment to the right. So I'm gonna hit enter and it's text align. Text align. Do I see it anywhere in there? I'm just gonna type it in text dash Align. Text align. 
right? And there it is, right? So it moved over to the right. And then we want to make the code clean, so let's hit that semicolon, and we're good. All right. Endangered animal, change the font family. Add a rule set for one heading to make it a different font. Add a rule set to the paragraphs to make it a different font. Okay, so H1 and the P. So first off, H1, H1, curly bracket, enter, and then it was font family. I don't know what's up with it not showing all these. Whatever. Font family, and I'll do this one sans serif. There it is. By the way, serifs? are the little like see on this P there's those little jagged lines that's what a serif is anyway semicolon close it off now we'll do our paragraph P curly bracket enter font family again and let's do inherit That's not that cool. Cursive? There we go. Semicolon. Make that code clean. And we're done with that one. Change the font size. Okay. Add a rule set for the heading to make it a different size. A rule set for the paragraphs to make it a different size. So we'll go to our style. We have our body. Now let's do our heading H1. H1. Bracket. Enter. Font size. There it is. And we'll make it 20. PX again, PX is pixels. That seems pretty tiny. Let's go with 40. That's better. Got our semicolon. Close it off, and it's good. Now let's do our paragraph. P bracket curly font size. We'll make this 15. PX for pixels. Drop in that curly O. Oh, semicolon. Semicolon. Now the curly bracket. And we are done with this one. That's it. All right. Introduction to RBG. All right, so this is basically the internet, the screen you're looking at. They use three different colors to make the pictures, right? Red, green, and blue. So it's a combination of colors to make different colors. So they want you to change the red to 216. So all I have to do is scroll that to 216. Green to 191. And blue to 216. Right, so this is like a weird, like, purplish or something. Anyway, the reason you would want to do this is say that you have a, a logo, right, for your company. And you want it to always have the same exact color no matter who uses your logo. So you would tell them you need to have red 216 green 191 and blue 216 to for my logo so that way they know every single time 
that's what you need. And this is just, you're just adding more or less, right? So less red, more red. Less green, more green. Less blue, more blue. So play around with these and um, yeah, just play around. And you're gonna find the colors, right? So the one we just did was four. And then let's do this one. Okay, you can use the RGB colors. We just talked about that, right? To get the exact color that you want. So find the CSS rule in the style sheet that gives you the red words in their style. And do the same thing for green and blue. I'm just going to copy this straight up. Control C. And then I'm going to paste it in here for green. Control V. All right, now you see right here I've got it. It's green, but it's red. So let's mess around with the colors a little bit. 11, 80, all right, let's try 30, Up oh, there we go, see we got more green in here now, and 20. All right, so now we're just giving the values. So you can make it a lighter version or you can even go zero, zero, and 80. Right, so we can just change the uh, change what we do, and then same thing with blue. Right, so I'm just going to grab this, and instead of the instead of the the standard color blue, I'm pasting it in here, and I'm saying, hey, it's going to be RGB, and my levels are going to be zero for red, zero for green. And then I'll put a number in here for blue. Say 20. All right, let's say 80. There we go. Now we got a deeper blue. 150. 200. And each time I change that value for that blue, it changes the color. So that's all that is. Not a big deal. In this one, we're going to create a web page. <laughs> 